Hello, kind people and future LPTs. This is Teacher Reg, and welcome to another episode of our Let Review series. And this episode, on this episode, we are going to have the final coaching for the science specialization for the September 2023 licensure examination for professional teachers. And without further ado, we'll start with the first question. Which of the following utilizes related observations and specific data to arrive at a general conclusion or principle? Now, it, this can either be inductive or deductive. Now, take note from specific data to general conclusion. So, specific to general, that would be inductive. Okay? Inductive, specific to general. When you talk about deductive naman, it's top-down. So, meaning, nauna siya sa taas, nauna siya sa general na idea, sa general conclusion or general principle. Down to a specific data or a specific example. Okay? That's deductive from general to specific. Inductive is from specific to general. Alright? Number two. A generalized mental image of, of an object is a or an. Kapag generalized mental image, that is what we call concept. Okay? Mental grouping of similar things, that's concept. Number three. A scientific investigation provides understanding through a explanations based on logical thinking processes alone, b experimental evidence, C, reasoned explanations based on observations. Or D, diligent obeying of scientific laws. So, our best option on this one would be yung experimental evidence. Kailangang merong evidence based on um, the experimentation. Mer dapat merong result na galing sa experimentation. So, kailangan ng experimental Evidence para concrete, para empirical yung data natin. Okay, number four. Statements describing how nature is observed to behave consistently time after time are called scientific. Remember, consistent siya, no? Time after time, we call that laws already, no? That's a scientific law. Uh, it basically describes something, what is, oh, yan. Tapos yung theory, it's more on the explanation as to why the phenomena is happening, no? Why the phenomenon, rather, is happening. Yan. Uh, it, it is more on the explanation. Example, we have the Big Bang Theory, the theory of evolution, di ba? Tapos yung laws naman, example, the, the laws of motion in Newton, the law of gravitational force, no? the uh, Kepler's laws, no? planetary motion na, na laws ni Kepler. No? Yeah, that's mga laws. It is describing what ang theory is more on the explanation as to why. Okay? Sige, next. Quantities or measured properties that are capable of changing values. That is what we call the variables. No? Variables. And we have the dependent, uh, independent, and we have the control variables. Okay? Number six, what do you call the variable being manipulated, giving cause? Oh, cause, ha? Huh? And it is represented by the x-axis. Remember, x-axis, cause, that's the independent variable. Tandaan mo rin, ha? Ang independent is lying on the x-axis, and that's the abscissa. x-axis, abscissa. Kapag y-axis, that's ordinate, no? And dependent naman yun, yung nasa y. So, independent, that is what I change, that's the cause, and the dependent, that's the effect, no? what I observed. Kapag sinabi natin control variable, controlled variable, or constant variable, ito yung what I keep the same. Okay? Sige, number seven. 
Which of the following demonstrates science as a way of thinking? Now, if you want to read the options, you may pause the video, but I'm going to reveal our answer. So, our answer for this one would be option D. Science arouses our curiosity to find answers to the queries by following scientific method and being logical and empirical in terms of thought and set of actions to be taken. Now, if you're going to read the options, it is very clear that option D would be the best answer. Okay, so because say, Ah, ang ganda niyang pakinggan, ganun. <laughs> Di ba? Di ba, ganun tayo. Pero ma-apply ma din naman natin yung, yung rason natin ng mga ganyan. No, it's it's logical to say, uh, um, um, on this, basing on the options, um, option D would be the best answer. Okay? So, you read the options, ha? Huh? So, yeah, let's have number eight. So, since this is a fast trail, this is a final coaching, um, I won't be explaining too much, but more on the giving you the answers. Okay, number eight, he coined the term survival of the fittest. That is Herbert Spencer. Hindi si Charles Darwin. Ha? Si Charles Darwin lang ang nagpasikat niyan. Okay, Herbert Spencer. Charles Darwin is the uh, yung sa theory of evolution. No? Yung published niya na work is yung sikat. On the origin of species. William Harvey, siya yung nakadiscover ng blood circulation. And Gregor Mendel, of course, the father of genetics. Now, who is the father of bacteriology? Bacteriology, that would be Robert Koch. Oh, depending na sa inyo yun, paano nyo basahin? Robert Koch, Robert Koch. That's Robert Koch, okay? Or Robert Koch. Okay, bahala na kayo dyan. Hindi naman kayo pa... Bababasahin ng PRC. <laughs> Ang mahalaga lang, alam mo yung asagot, alam mo yung spelling, no? Pati yung spelling. Because sometimes, pwede din nilang, uh, same lang yung options, tapos iba-ibahay nila yung spelling. So, dapat alam mo rin yung spelling, okay? Sige, let's proceed to number 10. Who coined the term scientist? Scientist, that's we will. Okay, William we will. The word scientist has been coined by William we will. In 1834, okay, sige. Number 11, COVID-19 pandemic killed millions of people around the globe. Government provided interventions to stop the spread of this disease through vaccination. The concept of vaccination can be associated to, sino yung nagpasimuno ng vaccination? That's Edward Jenner. So, he invented the word he coined the word vaccine from the Latin word vaca or cow. So, pag tanong ano ang ibig sabihin ng, um, um, ay, yeah, virus pala yun, sorry. Virus pala yun. That's poison. Virus is poison. Ha? Remember, virus means poison. Okay, so <laughs> vaccine. Back, back, back tayo sa, sa vaccine. So, vaccine, that's from the Latin word vaca. Okay, vaca, cow. So, he conducted the first scientific experiments on vaccination, allowing to eradicate smallpox. Uh, yan. So, that's Edward Jenner. So, also known as the father of vaccination, father of vaccines. Now, let's have number 12. What term is used when an egg developed into a new organism without itself being fertilized by a sperm? That is what we call parthenogenesis. Ano nangyayari siya sa, sa mga ants, sa mga bees, no, sa, sa wasp. Yan. So that's parthenogenesis without itself being fertilized. Yung egg, hindi siya na fertilized. Okay? Now, let's proceed to number 13. Moses, hornworts, and liverworts prefer moist habitats and lack vascular tissues. Thus, it can be concluded that they belong to non-vascular plants. Okay, liverwort, hornwort, and moss. Okay, next, number 14. Which of the following are characteristics of plants? A, multicellular, that's correct. B, photosynthetic, that's also correct. Or C, has alternative of uh, sporophyte and gametophyte generations in their life cycle. And that is also true. So our answer would be all of the above are correct. Okay, number 15. 
Which of these is incorrectly matched? A. Moss spores. B. Ferns seeds in fronds. Or C. Gymnosperms seeds in cones. Or D. Flowering plants seeds in fruits. Alright, our answer for this one would be yung option B. Walang seeds ang, ang ferns. Okay? So, kaya hindi siya uh, correctly match. So, it's, it is incorrectly match. Yung moss, nagproproduce sila, merong spores. Gymnosperms, that's correct. Yung seeds are in the cones. Tapos, the flowering plants, yung um, angiosperms, yung seeds niya ay nasa fruits. Alright? Number 16, which of the following is not part of the female part of the flower? Our answer for this one would be yung filament. Okay, the female part of the flower would be the pistil. So, na bang meron sa pistil? We have the stigma, the style, the ovule. Okay, and sa... The male part naman ng flower is the stamen. So, merong anther, merong filament. Okay, yung filament that is only found sa male na, na part ng flower. Kaya yan yung, ang sagot. yan yung sagot natin. Okay, number 617. What organ protects the growing flower bud? Anong organ ng, ng flower ang nagprotect? sa growing flower bud. Anong organ ng plant? Okay. So, that is the sepal. Uh, yan. Yan yung sepal. Yung nasa picture. That's the sepal. It protects the growing flower bud. Okay. Number 18. It is the principal food conducting tissue in vascular plants. So, it is either phloem or the xylem. Yung sugar uh, conducting tissue. Diba? Ang food na nire-refer natin dito is the glucose. So, what's our answer here? This is the phloem. Yung xylem, ang transport niya is water and minerals. Okay? The phloem is water and food. Alright. Number 19, what is the main photosynthetic organ of a plant? That is the leaf. Okay, leaf. The leaf is the main photosynthetic organ in plants. It controls gas exchange in plants. It controls the amount of water loss in plants when it is hot and dry. So it closes the stomata. So it produces a thick cuticle layer, and that is lipid. Yan. It reduces the surface area of the leaves. All right, number 20. What is the embryonic root? Kapag root, ang sagot natin ay radical. Kapag embryonic shoot, our answer is the plumule. Okay? Embryonic root, radical. Radical. Ang plumule naman is embryonic shoot. Okay, 21. What is the simplest animal? Simplest animal, that's Porifera, yung mga sponges. Oh, si, ba si, isipin mo si Spongebob, very simple lang. <laughs> gusto, niyo, gusto niyo lang ng simple na, na buhay, simpleng buhay. So, sponge, no? Porifera, porifera are under uh, phylum porifera. Ang yung sponges, they belong to the phylum porifera. So, sponges are the simplest of all animals. Okay, primarily because their bodies are not organized in organ systems or even tissues. Rather, sponges are made up of grouping of cells that work together to contribute to meeting the daily needs of the sponge. So, hindi siya complicated na, na living being, no? So, it's just very simple. Just think of SpongeBob as very simple. So, that's porifera. Number 22, what is the layer of a tissue that covers a mollusk visceral mass? We call that the mantle. Examples of mollusk, we have clams, snails, squid, oysters, scallops, octopus, yun, mga mollusk yan. They belong to phylum mollusca. Number 23, what substance in leeches is used by physicians to prevent blood clotting? Oh, yung nasa mga leeches that promotes um, anticoagulation. Ano yung chemical substance na yan? That is what we call the hyrodin. Okay? Leech saliva, 
contains hydrogen, an anticoagulant and antiplatelet agent that works to prevent blood clots and reduce the amount of congested blood in the tissues. Okay, 24. What is the most diverse phylum? Ang dami nito. Um, merong mga insecto, yung mga um, arachnids, the crustaceans, they belong to phylum arthropoda. Okay, the insects, yung um, three pairs of legs, yan yung mga insecto. So, meron sa lang um, um, three pairs no, of legs. Tapos yung uh, ano naman, yung um, arachnids, gaya ng spiders, meron naman silang four. Alright? Four pairs of legs, total of eight legs. Tapos, we have crustaceans like lobsters. Um, that they, they, they are still arthropods. And five naman yung pairs of legs nila. Okay, number 25, what is the correct order of the stages in the metamorphosis of grasshopper? Grasshopper, just remember you can uh, answer uh, this one. Um, remember, ina, uh, ina, egg, nymph, adult. Okay, <laughs> so ina, 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 sorry, ina, rather, ina, yan. Egg, nymphs, and adults. So, that's incomplete na metamorphosis ng grasshopper. Kapag complete, we have egg, tapos larva niya. Oh, that's basically the nymphs. Tapos meron siyang pupa and eventually nagiging adult. Yan yung complete. Ang incomplete, egg, nymphs, tapos adult. Okay, 26. The genetic makeup of an organism is called its genotype. Okay, that's the genetic makeup. Phenotype is, of course, the observable physical traits. 27, the chromosome number of human gametes is, remember, a chromosome number. Our answer for this one would be 23. Yung human body cells have 46. Ha? Human body cells have 46 chromosomes. While the human gametes, when we talk about gametes, this is referring to the sperm or the egg, merong 23 chromosomes each. Okay? Human gametes ang tinanong, so our answer would be 23. All right, 28. The muscles that contain an organism's genetic makeup the mo molecules rather sorry muscles the molecules <laughs> the molecules that contain an organism's genetic makeup of course that's the nucleic acid the dna and the rna no molecule ang hinahanap natin so that's the nucleic acid no macromolecule um I'm hoping that you already know the difference between the DNA and the RNA, including the nitrogenous uh, base pairs as well as the sugar present. The DNA, uh, meron siyang deoxyribose. So, RNA naman is ribose. And uh, when we talk about the nitrogenous na base pair, sa RNA, uracil ang meron instead of thymine. All right, 29, who was the first to observe animalcules under the microscope? That is Antoine von Leeuwenhoek. Antoine von Leeuwenhoek, okay? So, he's, he's also the father of microscopy. All right, Twi uh, 30, this organelle provides energy to the cell by breaking down sugar into ATP. P. Saan ba ang ATP production? That's the mitochondria. Okay? The ATP production, the powerhouse of the cell is the mitochondrion. Mitochondrion is uh, singular. Mitochondria is plural. Now, in the ATP production, merong tatlong main processes. We have first the glycolysis. So, glucose to pyruvate. Then, we have the Krebs cycle, the tricarboxylic acid cycle. And lastly, we have the electron transport. So, tanong ano ba ang huling nag-a-accept ng electron? That would be the oxygen. 
All right, 31. Which of the following statements accurately describes a characteristic of acids? Kapag sinabi natin acids, acid, di ba? Acid and base. So, I hope alam nyo na ang difference between the acid and the base. Kapag characteristic of an acid, our answer would be option D. They have the pH value lower than 7. Okay, that's an acid. Kapag higher, that's a base na. Now, you read this one, ha? the acids and base. I'm not going to read this one. And I'm, hope, I'm hoping that you will read this, the difference between the two. So, let's proceed to number 32. Which of the following is an example of a chemical change? Chemical, chemical, that's burning of wood. Yung freezing, yung na-dissolve ang salt, na-melt, yan, mga physical change lang. Yung, yung sa face changes, like um, sublimation, um, freezing, melting, yun, the, uh, ano pa, um, vapor, vaporization, condensation, puro physical change yun. Basta yung sa face change, puro physical change. Kapag merong involvement na ng combustion, no? meron ng burning of wood, yung fireworks, yan. Um, mixing vinegar at saka baking soda, nararot yung banana, uh, yung fruits, uh, rotten yung mga fruits, rotten fruits, yun, puro chemical changes yun. When talk about chemical change, yun yung chemical reaction, tapos merong bagong product na na-formed. Alright? Yung physical, nati-change lang niya yung, yung shape, no? yung, um, yung, ano tawag natin dito? Yeah, the shape, the, hindi, but hindi yung structure niya. No, not the chemical identity. Just the appearance, yan, from, from liquid water, nagiging water vapor, nagiging gaseous form. So, it's still water pa rin yun. So, that's physical change. Alright? Sige, 33. Which of the following is a characteristic property of alkanes? Alkanes, alkanes. That is saturated yung hydrogen atoms. So, yung sa ating hydrocarbons, ang saturated lang is yung alkane, no single band. Ang unsaturated naman is yung double band, yung alkene, at saka yung merong triple band, the alkyne. Alright? 34. What is the systematic name of the compound? Uh, bilangin mo ilang carbon ba meron? One, two, three, four. Four, that's butene. Oh, butene siya with E and E because merong double band. Alright? Kapag single band lang lahat, of course, that's butane, di ba? So, since merong uh, double band, so that's E and E ang i-add natin, butene. Number 35, Lipids are insoluble in water, but soluble in, that's alcohols. Alright? So, oil and alcohol are miscible. Pag sinabi natin miscible, it can mix evenly. So, yung lipids, pwede siyang ma-dissolve. No? It is soluble in alcohols. Okay? So, like dissolves like. Diba? Same naman yung lipids tsaka yung um, alcohol ng polarity, no? So, let's have 36. Which of the following is a complex hydro, a carbohydrate, complex carbohydrate? That's the starch. Alright, the starch. So, ang glucose, tsaka fructose, tsaka sucrose, mga simple sugars sila. Ang starch, oh, and cellulose, they are complex Carbohydrates used by plants for energy storage and structural integrity. Um, integrity. Yeah, yung starch, uh, nakita nyo below itong picture. This is a polymer, meaning maraming saccharides. No? Polymer of monosaccharide glucose. So, it is complex already. Maraming chain of monosaccharide Again, let's have 37. Which of the following is the storage form of glucose in animals? Oh, gaya natin, 
that is the glycogen which is found in our liver by the way if you feel like um i am speaking too slow <laughs> then you can increase the speed ha huh? you increase the speed you use the option na increase yung speed because i receive feedback na um i often um sort of talk too fast maybe hindi masyadong maintindihan ng iba so i think the solution for that is i would talk slowly and then if you feel like you want to increase the speed the pace of um the way i speak then you can choose the option wherein you can increase the the speed of the video okay again glycogen that is found glycogen sorry glycogen that is found in our liver so that's the storage form of glucose in animals number 38 antibiotics are commonly used to treat bacterial infections in humans however misuse or overuse of antibiotics can lead to that is development of antibiotic resistant bacteria oh, diba? Palagi na lang iminom ng antibiotics. So, eventually, yung mga bacteria na yan, they would also evolve. So, nakapag-develop na sila ng resistance. So, as a result, hindi na effective yung pag-take natin ng mga antibiotics. Yan. So, hindi pwedeng ma-misuse or hindi pwedeng ma-overdose ma tayo no? or ma-overuse yung antibiotics. So, Every time na nasasakit yung ulo natin, as much as possible, wag muna tayong mag-take ng, ng paracetamol or kung ano pang mga antibiotics. Just um, water therapy first, no? Water therapy. Kasi commonly, baka kulang ka lang sa tubig, no? Baka dehydrated ka lang. So, minum muna ng tubig. Huwag mag-rely masyado sa mga antibiotics. Okay? 39, what, which is true about catalyst? Catalyst. Um, this is always ang catalyst na tinatanong. Kapag catalyst, they provide alternative reaction paths with lower activation energy. Yung option A, they increase the rate of reaction by increasing the activation. That's wrong because yung catalyst, they lowers the activation energy. Hindi ini-increase. Ang option C naman, the amount of catalyst decreases as the reaction progress, progresses. So, hindi siya nag-decrease, uh, stays the same lang siya kasi hindi naman siya nakukonsume, no yung catalyst. Uh, it speeds up the reaction pero hindi siya nakukonsume. Kaya, always stays the same pa rin siya. Uh, option D, they are used up. No, they are not used up. no They only served as the... um they only lowers the activation energy, but they speed up, they increases the reaction. Pero hindi sila na you used up. Kaya nga, stays the same lang sila kasi hindi na you used up yung mga catalyst. Example of catalyst, we have enzymes, which are proteins. Okay? O, oh, nandito pala to. Catalyst is a substance which increases the rate of chemical reaction without being consumed. Catalysis is increasing the rate of a reaction using a catalyst. Remember, a catalyst lowers the activation energy and it increases the reaction. Okay, It increases the rate of chemical reaction. Okay, Number 40. Milk turns sour in one or two days when I left at room when left at room temperature and yet can remain unspoiled for two weeks when refrigerated. What explains this? So yung um temperature it decrease decrease in temperature slows down re the reaction rate. So it decreases the reaction rate. So the colder it is the slower yung reaction rate. Okay, kaya ilalagay natin yung mga pagkain natin sa sa ref, no, sa refrigerator. Because naso slow down niya yung chemical reaction. Number 41, which of the following serves as a thermal insulator in the body? That's the lipids, that's the fats, no? 
insulation. That's one role of the fats. That's one role of the lipids. Lipids are important thermal insulation. So, they regulate the temperature. Kaya nga, yung mga merong medyo maraming fats sa kanilang katawan, parang matagal silang ginawin, di ba? Compared to persons na uh, medyo petite tight or um, konti lang yung fats sa katawan, mas madaling ginawin. Kasi, insulator ang ating fats, insulator ang lipids, no? ang cholesterol. Sige, 42. Which of the following elements is a noble gas? So, you should be familiar with the periodic table. Noble gas, that's neon. Uh, we have the noble gases, helium, neon, argon. No? Yan. So, memorize this one, ha? Ang noble gas. And you know, not, not necessarily memorize, just Uh, okay, if okay, as much as possible, you can memorize, but uh, you can also familiarize. Kasi if uh, tinitingnan mo lagi itong periodic table, parang easily marirecall mo na siya. Okay? So, neon, that's a noble gas. Ang noble gases are mga inert gases. They are not reactive. They are not highly reactive, no? Yung mga noble gases. Ang highly reactive is yung group 1, tsaka group to yun mga highly reactive elements. Sige, 43, which gas is commonly used in carbonated beverages to create fizziness that is carbon dioxide? Yan, okay, nag-freeze siya na parang, a oh, fizz para sorry, fizziness. So, yan, para may mga bubbles na na-produce. That's carbon dioxide escaping once we open the bottle. Once we open the carbonated beverage, so yung sound na na he hear mo, that's carbon dioxide escaping. All right, forty four. What is the chemical name for vitamin C? That's our ascorbic acid. Vitamin C is ascorbic acid. Forty five. Which is most likely to change blue litmus paper to red? Oh, from blue to red, meaning it is an acid. Kapag red to blue, that's a base. No, blue, blue, my letter B, blue base, blue base. Acid, red, acid, red. O, alam mo dito yung acid, syempre yung vinegar. Ammonia, the detergent, and the lime water ay puro mga bases. Okay, mga base yung amo, base yung ammonia, yung detergent, tsaka yung lime. Vinegar is obviously an acid. All right, 46. In the process of photosynthesis, which molecule is reduced to produce glucose? Uh, saan galing yung glucose? Siya sa carbon dioxide. Saan galing yung oxygen? Sa water. Uh, remember that, ha? Water to oxygen. Carbon dioxide to sugar, to glucose. 47, which law of thermodynamics states that energy cannot be created, it cannot be destroyed, only transferred or converted from one form to another? That's the first law of thermodynamics. All right? So, zeroth law, if two bodies uh, A and B are in thermal equilibrium with third body C, then A and B are also in thermal equilibrium with each other. Yeah, that's the zeroth law. First law, yung conservation. So, the energy cannot be created. It can it cannot be destroyed. It is only transferred. No, same with the heat. Sorry, heat pala. So, same with the energy as well. So, heat cannot be created. It cannot be destroyed. So, second law, That's uh, in all the spontaneous processes, the entropy of the universe increases. Entropy, this is the disorder. So, yung entropy, it is always increasing in the universe uh, except for isolated system, ba? Diba? So, in an unsight, unsightly, un, uh, isolated system, so it is always increasing. And dito rin sa second law, yung hat, um, hot na ha, I mean higher temperature the hot object yung um heat is transferring from hot to cold yan yan din yun sa second law no remember ha hot to cold kaya nga yung sa air conditioner every time we open the door 
uh, yung air, air, condition, air condition na room, every time we open the door, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na, oy, isarado mo yung pinto kasi lalabas yung aircon. Ang right term to say would be, um, isarado mo yung pinto kasi papasok yung init. Yan. Kasi heat is from hot to cold na area. Alright. Third law would be, the value of entropy of a completely pure crystalline substance is zero at absolute zero temperature. So, the absolute zero, that's the lowest possible temperature. That's zero Kelvin. That's absolute zero. Okay? Number 48. In a redox reaction, which substance is oxidized? Redox, ha? Huh? Uh, ano yung na-oxidize? The one that loses electrons. Uh, yan. The one that loses electrons. So, opposite siya, no? Yung na-oxidize, yan yung nag-lose ng electrons. Yung being reduced, oh, kahit reduced siya, reduction, siya yung nag-gain ng electrons. Alright? So, I hope, klaro ito ha, oxidation, meaning merong addition ng oxygen. Oxidation, loss of electron, reduction, gain of electron. Number 49, what is the chemical name for baking soda commonly used in cooking and as an antacid? As an antacid, yeah. Baking soda. Remember, mayroong letter B, B, baking. Sodium bicarbonate. Bicarbonate. No, my letter B then. Baking soda. The sodium carbonate, that's the washing soda. Okay? Baking soda. Mayroong letter B, bicarbonate. 50. What apparatus will you use to measure the mass of an irregular solid? So, syempre, kailangan natin ng Graduate, graduated cylinder with water. So, kung ano yung uh, change sa ating liquid, uh, ang difference non compared to the original na liquid, um, uh, yun yung mass ng irregular na solid. Let's just say, for example, 50 ml of water. Tapos, when you put the rock, which is an example of an irregular solid, Tapos, nagiging 70 yung measurement natin sa water. No? From 50 ml, nagiging 70 ml nung nilagay na ang rock. So, ibig sabihin, 20 pala yung mass ng irregular solid na yan. Okay? Sige, number 51. Almost the entire mass of an atom is concentrated in the nucleus. Anong meron sa nucleus? Protons and the neutrons. Okay, nandiyan yung mass. Concentrated ang mass. Extremely dense ang nucleus. Kasi nandiyan sa kanya yung mass. Tapos ang liit lang niya. 52. When does light arriving on Earth change its speed? O, kapag nag-iba na yung medium. Passing from one medium to another. Um, on uh, In the vacuum, um, in air... Iba yung speed ng light in uh, mga liquid na substances like in water. It changes as well. Tapos, slowest siya sa solids. Alright? Nagaya ng diamonds, in glass. Yan. So, it, well, it changes on earth when passing from one medium to another. 53 what could uh, what would cause a plane to descend uh, descend so meaning papunta siya sa baba so yang uh, ito yung apat na forces no we have the thrust the drag lift tsaka yung weight so kasi pababa siya ibig sabihin nagdi-decrease yung thrust no nag-i-increase yung drag force niya tapos nag-i-increase yung weight yan yan yung um rason kung bakit uh, looking at the basing on the lang ba basing on the forces dapat um increase yung weight kasi di ba yung weight is yan yung nagpapahila pababa so the thrust should decrease tsaka yung drag force would be um increased kapag gusto mo namang mag ascend ascend so mag increase yung left force no yung left na force or mag decrease ang weight Tapos, mag-i-increase ang thrust. 
Tapos, magdi-decrease ang drag. Yan yung ascend naman yon. Okay? Sige, 54. Y is 2H2 plus O2. Uh, is um, 2H2O. Oh, yan. Yan yung product. Considered to be a balanced chemical equation. I'm hoping you already know how to do balancing, ha? Baka talongin yung balancing. Baka may ibigay na situation. Tapos, you have to balance. So, our answer for this one, kasi equal na sila. Four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms are on the either side of the arrow. Yan. Sige, 55. Isotopes of um, a chemical have the same isotopes, same number of Protons, same atomic number. Ha? Different lang sila ng number of neutrons. Pero, same sila ng atomic number. Okay? Sige. Number 56. If firefighters were faced with a methane fire, what would they want to eliminate to put out the fire? Our answer for this one, in order to have fire, di ba, dapat merong oxygen. So, ito yung, yung triangle para merong fire. We have the fuel, dapat merong heat, at saka merong oxygen. Okay? For combustion to happen, merong oxygen. 57. Which phenomenon did Maxwell's equations predict and confirm the existence of? That is the electromagnetic radiation. So, Maxwell identified electricity and magnetism, magnetism and gave a new th theory called electromagnetic theory. In his theory, he developed a set of four equations called Maxwell's ex equations. Using these equations, he predicted the existence of electromagnetic waves. He also calculated the speed of electromagnetic waves, which was similar to the speed of light, and said that light is an electromagnetic wave. Alright, that's electromagnetic radiation. Number 58, what is the principle behind a microwave oven's operation? That is radiation. Ha, radiation yang sa microwave na oven. Next, 59, what is the context of, I mean, in the context of thermodynamics, what is entropy? A measure of entropy, that's disorder or randomness. Okay, that's the measure of disorder of a system or energy unavailable to do work. That's entropy. Number 60, Ano yung rason sa uh, looking at the picture? Bakit parang uh, slightly bent? It appears bent yung ating pencil. That is because of the phenomenon. Refraction. The bending of light. That is refraction. Bouncing back. That's the reflection. Okay, a board exam tip during... Um, the exam day, kailangang maaga ka ha, magpa-alarm ka, you arrive early, and as much as possible, just stay calm, breathe in, you breathe out, kasi kahit gaano pa kalakas yung heartbeat mo na yan, hindi mababago niyan ang question sa test papers, kaya dapat kumalma ka lang, kalma lang, no? Pagkalmado ka, mas nakapag-iisip ka ng tama. Okay, so as much as possible, you stay calm. Wag mo nang magkape for those hindi masyadong sanay na magkape. For those people na tingin mo naman, iba, iba, parang iba-iba naman yung epekto ng kape. So for those people naman na mas nagiging kalmado ka kapag, mer uh, kapag nakainom ka ng kape, then okay, so be it. Just make sure na uh, palagi, ka lang, palagi ka lang uminom ng kape, no? sanay ka na na uminom ng kape. So uh, just make sure na alam mo na yung epekto ng kape sa katawan mo. Then you read instructions carefully. You ask questions sa proctor. Huwag kang mahiyang magtanong kung may right mid. Huwag kang mahiyang magtanong ha, sa proctor every time na meron kang confusion about the instructions. So always, always ask the proctor. Okay? Sige, 61. When a car travels at a constant speed along a straight road, which of the following statements is true regarding its motion? 
our answer for this one will be the car is not accelerating kasi constant lang yung speed tapos straight pa yung road unless curved yung road no merong curved or slopes siya so doon hindi na yun ah uh, meron na acceleration doon pero here in this case constant yung speed tapos straight yung road so it is not accelerating 62 which of the following is an example of a projectile motion projectile that's yung baseball thrown in the air okay so yung trajectory niya ay parabola no yung projectile na motion Sige, 63. In the context of optics, what is the phenomenon that causes stars to twinkle when observed from the Earth? Diba yung nursery song na twinkle, twinkle, letters, little star? But technically, hindi naman talaga siya nag-twinkle, diba? So, it appears to be twinkling because of refraction. Yan. So, refraction of light is um, as it passes through the turbulent atmosphere. Yung ating atmosphere, merong air molecules that is always moving diba? the, the wind um, it causes the uh, light uh, sort of to appear like it is bent so parang nag uh, kaya parang pagdating natin dito nakita natin na it is twinkling okay but it's basically just a ball of gas yung, yung stars 64, which law of thermodynamic states that energy spontaneously tends to disperse or spread out? Yung sa entropy, the law of um, the disorder, that's the second law. So, diba, the heat flow is from hot to cold. Remember that, ha? That's also included in the second law of thermodynamics. So, let's have 65. What type of electromagnetic radiation has the shortest wavelength? Of course, we have the X-rays. So, I'm hoping memorize mo na din ito. So, if you can see, parang very easy lang yung mga questions ko, no? Because this is like a sort of the foundation. So, mas magiging madali mong sagutan yung mga hard questions kapag alam mo yung foundation, alam mo yung basic na na ano sa science, the basic principles, the fundamentals in science. No? And in the board exam naman, based on my experience, hindi naman siya gaanong kalalim yung, hindi naman talaga siya on the deeper science, just on the surface level, kasi general science ang ating major. So, included na lahat ng subjects sa science. Dati, physical science at biological science, pero ngayon, pinag-isa na siya into general science. So, hindi siya masyadong deep, pero dapat alam pa rin natin ang principle behind that one. Kaya nga, sinabi ko na always go back to the basics kapag meron ka, o ba essentialism, <laughs> yung essential na mga topics, essential concepts sa science. Kasi kapag tinanong, and yung application na, eh, alam mo na yung mechanism behind that, alam mo yung scientific principle behind that, so you can immediately answer. Okay? So, sige. Let's proceed to number 66. An electric circuit, if the resistance of component is increased while keeping the um, voltage constant no, in an electric circuit. What happens to the current passing through the component? So, we can, oh, di ba? What's, the, what's the principle behind this one? That's the Ohm's law. So, ang, ang answer natin is yung current nag-decrease. So, take note, the resistance of a component is increasing and we know, oh, di ba? The V is equal to I times R current times resistance. So, current is multiplied to the resistance. Kapag ganito yung nasa equation, ibig sabihin, the, the current is inversely proportional to the resistance. So, kapag tataas yung resistance, syempre, magdi-decrease yung current. Kapag yung current naman yung nag increase yung resistance naman yung magdi-decrease. So, ganyan yung relationship nila. Inversely proportional. Okay? Sige, 67. A concave lens can be used to correct which of the following vision problems? So, concave. Concave, that's for the near-sighted or the myopia. 
Okay, nearsighted. And we have for the farsighted naman, hyperopia, um, ang lens naman uh, that would be used to correct hyper uh, hyperopia or the farsighted is convex naman. Huh? Nearsighted, concave, farsighted, convex lens is needed. Number 68, which planet is known as Earth's twin planet in terms of size and mass? That's the Venus, no? the morning star and the evening star, the hottest planet. Because mainly, it is made of um, carbon dioxide gases, no? tapos sulfur yung clouds. Mercury is the smallest planet, the first planet from the sun. Okay, Mercury. Mars, the red planet. Okay, uh, may dalawang moons ang Mars. We call that Phobos and Demos. Mercury, wala siyang moons. Ve uh, wala siyang moon. Venus, wala din siyang moon. So, Mercury and Venus, yan yung only planets in our solar system na walang moons. Nipchon, oh, ano bang meron sa Nipchon? It's, it's color blue, no? Pero ang blue planet is, of course, our Earth, no? Our planet Earth because of water, of the liquid water. Uh, Nipchon, it appears blue kasi uh, because of the methane gas. Okay, it is an icy giant. All right. Sige, 69, um, which of the following forces provides the centripetal force that keeps the moon in orbit around Earth? Of course, that's the gravity, the force of gravity, the gravitational pull. And yung gravitational pull ng, ang, ng, um, ng moon natin, so uh, ng Earth towards the, uh, towards the moon or vice versa, is yun yung reason for the tides in our planet. Okay? The moon's motion. Oh, kapag walang gravity, as you can see, so, yung yung motion ng moon, so, lalayo siya sa kanyang orbit. And because of the force of gravity, so, it is still um, orbiting around our planet. The same goes with us, ang Earth, orbiting around the sun because of the gravitational pull. Okay, so remember, gravitational force is an attractive force. Number 70, this kind of tide, of course, during the new moon phase, kapag new moon or full moon, that is spring tide. Ha? New moon, full moon, that is spring tide. Kapag either third quarter or first quarter, that's the neap tide. Okay? Neap tide. The sun is perpendicular to the moon. That's neap tide. Uh, kapag um, it is in line with the moon, so either new moon or full moon, that's the spring tide. Okay? Sige, number 71. How much time does it take for our moon to revolve around the sun? That is... Of course, huwag mong masyadong i-complicate ha. Remember, ang moon nag-revolve around the sun, sun. So, same with our planet, that's still 365 and one-fourth days. Ha, huwag mong i-complicate, huwag, ma huwag malito. Kasi yung moon, di ba yung moon is, ang um, earth natin is revolving around the sun. The same, at the same time, ang moon natin is revolving our around the our planet around earth so as earth moves around the sun yung moon it is also moving around the sun so same lang sila na 365 and one fourth days now ano itong 27.3 days 27 and one third dates days this is a complete revolution of the moon around our planet okay Tapos, yung 29 and one half days, ito yung days kung saan nag-change ng phases ang ating moon. Nag-change siya ng phase. So, from uh, new moon back to new moon. So, that is, uh, that would take 29 and one half days. Okay? Sige, number 72. What type of boundary occurs where two plates move together causing one plate to descend into the mantle beneath the outer place that is what we call the convergent boundary merong denser na plate we have of course the oceanic plate the oceanic 
and the continental no once they collide um that's they convert uh that's the convergent na na plate boundary so oceanic is denser than the continental remember that ha? pero oceanic is thinner than the continental so since dense siya it will subduct there is a subduction zone there is a subduction process so that that is the convergent boundary into your reason na form yung mountains yung volcanoes okay the convergent boundary Sige, 73, what kind of eclipse do we see when the moon is entirely within the Earth's umbral shadow? Meaning, yung um, Earth is nasa gitna, no? The moon is entirely man within the Earth's umbral shadow. The umbra is the darker uh, shade of the, of the shadow, no? That's umbra. So, nasa shade, umbral shade ng ng earth yung yung moon ibig sabihin yung earth yung nasa gitna and kapag yung earth is nasa uh, middle that's a lunar eclipse 74 NASA developed a filtration process to make waste water on space flights renewable where might this filtration process be used on earth Waste water. So, syempre, sa mga contaminated na water. In areas where water is contaminated. Okay, last number. Which human activity would be more likely to have a negative impact on the environment? So, looking at the options. Negative impact. Yung paggamit natin ng mga insecticides, mga pesticides, no? Meron siyang negative impact on the environment. Alright, and we're done. I want you to believe in yourself. Okay? So, alam kong ready, ready ka na sa board exam. You value looking back on the things that you've studied. Yung, yung mga study sessions mo. So, mahalaga yon. Tsaka, maniwala ka sa sarili mo, ha? Believe in your abilities. Our mind can do so much more. It can go a very long way if we really put our mind into it. Mangyayaring, mangyayari ang gusto natin. So, positive thinking can go a long way. Yes, this is really true. And so, believe in yourself. Matiwala ka sa sarili mo and pray and pray always. God will eventually hear your prayers and God sees your hard works. So, maniwala ka sa sarili mo, okay? So, I think I am going to end this here. And God bless everyone on the board exam this Sunday. I'll be praying for everyone's success. Bye-bye for now.